Well, here we are three days after my last video on four videos removed by Nightcap on Minjimble developers during the public submission period DA21-0010. And oh look, what a surprise, what a shocker. This is my channel as viewed from where I load up to and this is my channel the way anyone else sees it. And look at that. The Tweed Council's proposal to remove RLSCs and a detailed look at the issues with Nightcap's DA21-0010, which was actually, this one was a re-upload. That one's been removed as well, again. And this one, gone. So that's uh, six videos Nightcap on Minjimble developers have attempted to squash public opinion or any of the problems that are exposed in their development application. They have exposed themselves publicly by actually getting my videos removed. And I don't have a lot of viewers. It's not like I'm reaching thousands and thousands of people. And as I've said before, most of those 682 subscribers are just people that don't even look at what comes up in their subscriptions and just skim past my videos. They're not even watching them. They were Max Egan fans, most of them. So why are Nightcap on Minjimbal so worried about highlighting any of the problems in the development application the, and also highlighting the fact that the Tweed Council is removing the ability for them to even do that in their Shire at all. It is non-existent under the Tweed Shire's local laws that a rural land sharing community can be built. The only way that they can apply for this development application is under the um, Southern, the SEPP. And with the Tweed Council voting to remove that ability by removing themselves from the SEPP, the development is dead in the water. Will not go ahead. Cannot go ahead. Move to another shire where they're still under the SEPP. That's your only hope. But rest assured, I will continue to check on these truthers, and I've put them in and in bracket, in, you know, those little fingers they stick up in the air, in inverted commas, truthers, who do nothing but an attempt to silence those that don't agree with them. I am disgusted. But I'm also, thank you. You're actually proving what people have said about you people for years. Anyone that speaks out against you, you've got to shut them up. You do not have the t testicular fortitude to actually take criticism against you. Every human being has to handle the criticism of others. It's just the way it is. You can't please everybody, there will always be someone that will criticise you. You've got to be strong in your own self to, to not let that worry you. Others may, from their perspective, have good reason to criticise you. But from your perspective, you see it differently. And this is where it's important to have a good sense of self. But then none of the people that are actually involved with Nightcap and Minjimble actually have a good balanced mentality. I watched a video of Tyler Tolman's that was done in 2019. At the beginning of 2019, here he is, raw, raw, drawling in his, you know, his American accent, annoying the hell out of me with his sales tone pitch. To just hear him say in 2019, that a development application had been lodged, that was a lie. We've only just seen it lodged in January 2021. He also said 
that the development application was 100% compliant and that there was no possible way, because it was 100% compliant, there was no possible way it could get knocked back. So he was virtually guaranteeing it would happen because this development application had been lodged and it was 100% compliant. Well, 100% bullshit, Tyler Tolman. In 2019, when you made that video, no development application had been lodged. And the application that we do find is lodged in 2021 is not, definitely not, 100% compliant with the laws. In fact, you could say maybe maybe 10% compliant with the laws. That's a bad ratio. The other 90% is non-compliant. It's no wonder you took down any trace of those videos because I wouldn't want to be held accountable for being sucked in to selling bullshit and saying all these things without actually knowing for, for a fact. You stated a development application Tyler Tolman, had been lodged already in 2019. Now, if you had done one bit of research on that, you would know that was a lie and you wouldn't need to retract it. You know, I've been sifting my way through thousands, hundreds of voxes, conversations going backwards and forwards, revealing the truth of what went on years ago and what is the foundations of what we see today in Nightcap on Minjimbal? Mark McMurtry was there. Adrian Brannock was there. Philip Dixon was there. Cherie Stokes was there. Richard Moat was there. Derek Zillman was there. Peter Van Leishout was there. That was a Buller Buller. And now we have Nightcap on Minjimbal, and all those people, except for Mark Darwin, are still there. And you know what? Mark Darwin lines his own pockets. He got to the stage where he realised that none of this was ever going to pan out, so he pulled out. He's still down as shareholders and other things in the companies, but he's not putting any effort into it because he knows it's going to fall flat on its face. Now, the way I look at this development application, it's kind of like seeing someone drowning with their arms flapping around that they're not they're not drowned yet but sooner or later they're just going to sink under and no one is going to see them ever again they're dead in the water that's what's going to happen with nightcap on minjimbal and that's why they're doing everything that they can to shut down my irrelevant voice i mean they've branded me as as a meth head and crazy and all these other things. But I am not surprised because of all the... Oh, seriously, women? Women, it is time that we did not take these kind of chauvinists. The level that is actually degrading to women that comes out of Nightcap on Minjimbal is disgusting. What comes out of Mark McMurtry's mouth, what comes out of Adrian Brannock's mouth, and I tell you, I've got so much more that's come out of Adrian Brannock's mouth than what's come out of Mark McMurtry's. But these are true colours that I will share with people as I continue to expose people. Now, you notice they didn't give a damn about getting rid of the one against Mark McMurtry. You know, this is where I keep saying that they are protecting certain people in removing my videos. And it's very clear, Mark McMurtry, nobody likes you. Peter Van Leishout didn't even like uh, Adrian Brannock or Mark Darwin. That's why he dealt with Philip Dixon and Cherie Stokes, because basically, you guys aren't likeable. And I am dumbfounded that someone like Derek Zillman, who thinks he can manage all these big projects, was stupid enough to put you in charge of promotions. 
You know, there's no character and no warmth. There's no feminine touch. And we know why that feminine touch isn't there because you, you think that women are your servants. And the way that women are treated, the way that they are talked to, look, it is time for all women to start standing up against this. This is not just an issue of race or tribes or anything like this. I don't give a stuff what colour your skin is. I'm calling on you as a woman to stand up and to not take this. In the silence over the years, domestic violence has risen. Drug and alcohol abuse has risen. And in your silence, oh, it doesn't happen to us? You're protecting it. Why is it that Aboriginal women have a higher incidence of all these domestic violence and things that happen to them? Because you keep silent and you allow it to happen. We are all women and it's time that we stood together against the abuses and threats that these men put on women and on children. They laugh at putting them in fear. They laugh at how any way they can put down a woman. And when you hear Adrian Brennock say, well, let's just say that the caveman mentality is alive and well in the chauvinistic pigs that make up Nightcap on Minjimble. And I'm not just talking about the fake tribal ones, I'm talking about the other tribal ones too, your Rodimers and your Williams. I'm going to leave a link for this um, <laughs> letter that was, if you want to read it, I'm not even going to waste my time reading it because it is so much of a loaded letter. And even the fact that they're saying in here, talking about how they know that the, to remove RLSCs from the Tweed Shire Council, it was outnumbered. But then right down the end, they say to stay strong and true. Oh, you idiots. It was outvoted. What are you telling the ones that got outvoted to stay strong and true that the other ones will somehow wake up to their silly sense and, you know, or give in? to the racial prejudice that you are pushing in this as an agenda. Oh, people will back down because, oh, we, we don't want to be seen to be racial and, and things like that. What a load of shit. And I'm not the only one calling them out that it's a load of shit. To the fake Minyangbu tribal council that was set up by Dean Rodimer with no consultation with the indigenous wider community of the Tweed and surrounding areas, shame on you for the continued rape and destruction of the land. Good on you, Colin. And I tell you what, Colin, grab anybody and everybody. Start putting your pickets outside their bloody fences. Start blockading them. Do what you do with the mines and the quarries. Do you want them? to destroy the sacred sites, get out there and stop them. And that way, your fake little tribal council will be put in their place because, yes, I've seen it's only signed by a handful of people. A handful of people, they've got a vested interest and profit in it. Profit of $12 million that is waved in front of their greedy little eyes and they go, oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Well, no. Enough's enough. All you fakes. I don't care what colour skin you're hiding in. It's time to ferret out the fakes. And it's time for the real people to stand up and be counted. To stop hiding in fear. Because when you hide in fear, you give them your power. And most of the time, if you stand up to a bully, a bully's too scared to hit you back. They want weak, submissive people. I've heard this all throughout the Voxes of how they plan and manipulate people to put them in a state of fear so that they'll shut up and do as they manipulated them to do. 
Stop being manipulated by these fakes. Stop taking it. Stand up for crying out loud. Do something. Because the fight is not over until they are stopped at nightcap on Minjimbal. And on that note, I'm going to say catch you on the next video. Bye.